What's your biggest turnoff in guys? Probably when they don't work out. Go to oh, really? And stuff, yeah. So what do you got? When they do not work out, says the suitcase. Jesus. She ate like three people. And she has standards. The, the one which ate three guys. The, the, uh, oh my God. Where is the hamburger? We need some burgers over here. We need McDonald's. Oh my God, that's crazy. But let's do it one more time. Let's just get to it. Oh my God. Hi folks, the Filipino be here. And some women say they just don't need men anymore. What? They make their own money, so they don't have to put up with them at all. Oh, but is money okay. all that men provide? Let's see what else these women want and what they offer in return. What's your biggest turnoff in guys? Probably when they don't work out. Oh, this is gonna be good. Oh my god. Oh god. She's she's a gorgeous queen. Okay, let's take a deep breath and start by listening to some calm, educated women tell okay. us why men are no longer needed. This ought to be interesting. Historically, women needed men because that's how the oppression structure was set up. Mm. We were hostages. Yeah. We couldn't have credit cards, couldn't own property, couldn't vote, had no voice. Well, of course we'd partner up with a man because we needed one so that we didn't starve to death because men used force to keep us under their thumb. Mm. Now, fortunately, things have evolved and guess what? We don't need men. So yeah. if it comes to being in a relationship, it's a matter of bringing something to the table and if what you're bringing to the table is a toddler like mentality toddler. where you are running around running a toddler excuse me missus don't you have makeup on no okay i get it it's, it's for yourself it's to be beautiful for yourself and not to attract the opposite gender a muck expecting a mommy so of course you see so many men who are single because they've never realized that they need to actually be told wait but you're contradicting yourself because we're supposed to be good to our mommies right we're supposed to love our mommies and treat them good so why are you attacking us for being mama's boys horrible individuals oppression structure Hostages mm. being held by force? Yeah. Sounds like you need a SWAT team, lady. But I hate to tell you, they'd all be men. So what I'm hearing you say is that men are just intolerable babies running around looking for their mommies. And the only reason you put up with them is because you couldn't afford to leave. Well, something tells me with that attitude, men won't be all that sorry to see you go. Oof. Who else we got? I'm a strong, independent woman that doesn't need no man, okay? I just want one, you know, because... They're kind of cute and they smell good sometimes. Yeah, and somebody needs to fix your car. And they pick up heavy things, you know? <laughs> cute, smell nice, and pick things up? Then get a dog, give it a bath, and teach it to fetch. Mm. We don't need to subscribe to the old dogmas, the old ideologies, things that were put on us by religion, society, patriarchy, right? It's very much in men's interest to make us think that mm. we cannot leave them no mm. matter what. Women realize that we literally can leave, like you can go down to the courthouse. But five. then just do it. Just, you know, I'm there. Today I'm there. Where I'm just like, just go. Just, you know, just don't, don't talk. Don't. Let's not argue, just leave. Just there's the door. Because this is what we're getting today. Complaining. Back and forth. <laughs> I don't need a man, but... I, 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 it's too much. We're doing mental gymnastics right now. And I'm just like, I'm, I don't even have the energy to, to go tit for tat. I don't. I'm just like, yeah, just, just leave. Yes. We, we're worthless, we're horrible people, just just go, then just leave social media, my guy. Because we created it. We created internet, all of that, we created it, but then again, just leave, just go. Because you hate us, you hate our inventions, you hate everything that the patriarchy has created, Just then just leave for a divorce walk away Let's break see. up with that man get your own apartment move mm. out you can do all these things you are 100%. not trapped 
in a relationship. And I think what started, it's finally starting to trickle down to is men finally needing to, instead of gaslighting and brain trying to brainwash women into feeling that we have to stay with them, we have to be married, we have to have mm. kids. That brainwashing is clearly not working anymore. So the final step in the feedback loop is men act finding- You're on a social media platform that was made by a man complaining about this is the freest society in history you you are better than us you're making more money it is you're 100 percent right but even then she has to sit and she has to nag i've been bro some of my girlfriends instead of just just walk away like bro i could say just like listen baby there's the door she has to sit two maybe three hours just complaining because she knows that she can't leave she can't she just wants to complain she needs a platform where she can just complain community among other men and starting to like talk about their feelings talk about how do they grow and improve from an mm. emotional standpoint and become better partners better Look fathers better members of a community the patriarchy brainwash you into accepting bad fathers mm. and inferior members of the community. And if men will just get in touch with their feelings, then maybe you'll want them again. Well, I don't know about you, but guys sitting around in therapy mm. circles isn't the first thing that comes to my mind when choosing a partner. And it may sound like a new idea to you, but I think women already knew how to run down to the courthouse and take a man's stuff long before you were born. But surely this whole thing's not only about money, right? Why are there so many women today who say they don't need a man? I mean, because if, if they want to go 50-50 on things, I just don't need them. Or maybe it is just about money. But wait a minute, aren't modern women always saying they want a 50-50 partner? Funny how that never applies to bills. Yeah. Okay, so women want more than 50%. Well, then they must have something really good to offer, right? What's your biggest turnoff in guys? Probably when they don't work out. Go to oh, really? And stuff, yeah. So what do you When they do not work out, says the suitcase. Jesus. She ate like three people. And she has standards. The, the one which ate three guys. The, the, uh, oh my God. Where is the hamburger? We need some burgers over here. We need McDonald's. Bruh, this woman would not survive if she did not have a mcdonald's i'm just saying when she comes to mcdonald's she takes the extra the extra large we need the double size i'm just saying this girl is talking about standards have you heard of a a salad or maybe an exercise would do you some good guys prefer in a guy really rich bruh. at least six <laughs> five sorry man so, bro yeah yeah just lots of money really you can buy me fancy things take wow. me on trips pay my rent between me a sloth a lazy ass sloth this girl has standards and her woman who has a harder life absolutely women. women why we just become what you want to attract if you want like six figures, why don't you have six figures? Why don't why don't you first have it? Then you can like I would understand if these these were models and say, nah, listen, I make six figures, so I need my man to make six figures. I get that. There I understand because I'm on this level. But bruh, look at this one, bro. She's not even what? She's she thinks she's a Beyonce. She thinks she's a Megan Fox. This this one lives in Narnia, in La La Land. City of stars, are you shining just for me? It was a good movie, but she does live in La La Land. And she's going around all day, living in a fantasy. Bruh, what do you have in that bag? Burgers? Lead for a uh, week a month. Um, we are in. We're sexualized yeah. everywhere we go. Yeah, right. get like cat called. You guys are sexualized. Yeah. yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. The parking lot tenant tried to steal me before. Okay. Bro. We've get, bro, we've given them too much gas, guys.
honestly guys get off only fans get off corn get off all of that stop watching that shit so let me get this straight even women that size think that all that in a bag of chips mm. then why the heck am i on a diet just give me the bag of chips oh, Jesus. and somehow they think they deserve a man who's six five filthy rich who buys some nice things and pays the rent and for all that and i just want to put in a disclaimer in this video guys i'm a comedian i'm joking i'm i'm not attacking these beautiful queens i'm just joking these are just jokes i don't mean anything that i say you know i want to keep my youtube channel so i'm just just putting that there what do you offer oh don't say it that's a mental image i can never unsee if i were a guy i think i'd rather cut a hole in a watermelon hmm. but i'm sure not every woman is this delusional right what will you rate yourself today i feel like i'm a good eight 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 Okay, you gotta, gotta be humble, gotta be humble. Bruh, it's she the stomach. It's it's the belly. You can see that she drinks a lot of wine and she's just... Nah. Was that being humble? Walking around in public with a bare butt and spilling out of her top? I don't think you'd see me looking like that even if I could spill out of my top. So let's see what else women want from the men they don't need. What is the age range of your ideal man? 28. 23 to 28? Yeah. Minimum height. <laughs> I'm 6'3". And minimum income. Six figures a year, I'm guessing? Yes, that's Six actually three. perfect. The probability of you finding your ideal man is 0.075%. You have a bigger chance to win the lottery. So I'm one of a kind, okay. What is the ideal age of your man? 28 and yeah. 30. A girl like this, she's an 8. Very gorgeous girl. She could probably pull a, a rich guy. Nice. Minimum height. 5'11 and up. And minimum income? Uh, 250000 at least. The probability of you finding your ideal man is 0.49%. Nah, I disagree. I just, she could, she could pull, she could pull a guy like that. She could. Minimum height? You better be like six foot or more. And minimum income? Six figures. The probability of you finding your ideal man is 0.17%. Oh. <laughs> No, what's sad is that you actually think you're gonna find a man in the top one half of one percent. You do know that the average man is only five nine, right? Oh my and God. the average income is only fifty thousand. So why do you think you deserve the highest top tier man? Are you that special? By all means, tell us your qualifications. What do you bring to the table? Companionship? Mm. A man can get a dog as easily as a woman can, and he might even get along with it better. Food on the table? Don't make me laugh. I bet only a few of you even know how to get the plastic off a microwave dinner. Sex? Well, there's all kinds of other outlets for that that don't even include watermelons. Would you date a guy that makes 75k a year? <laughs> no, that's so cute. No, no, no. With inflation in this economy, I absolutely could not. I don't think that he could afford our groceries. And I mean, and I'm buying organic, and obviously I'm buying all like grass-fed, grass-finished beef. No, Imagine you're a guy and you are just an average guy. You wake up every day, maybe you work with construction or maybe you are a garbage man, but you make enough. Not, okay, not even what 75, maybe you make what 60, which is above average. You go to work every day, you don't complain. You work hard, you don't complain. But when it comes to dating, you can't even, and I'm saying like, she's what? With makeup on, with, she's a five, with makeup on. Imagine without the makeup. This girl's dissing you. That one, that one over there is like, nah, I need, I need six figures. That one. And the fat one. Do you remember how grandmas used to be before? Now grandma is <laughs> twerking. Gra grandma twerk, grandma twerk, 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 grandma twerk. Bruh. Grandma is, grandma is a thought. Grandma is a thotty. I also know we couldn't afford that at Whole Foods. No, no, no. No Whole Foods for this guy. No Whole Foods. We're back at like Publix, like the sale section. Like. Walmart groceries. Mm. Walmart groceries, yeah. <laughs> so 75,000 is chicken feed? Okay, just for comparison, take a look at what the average Filipino wants. How much money do you need to have mm. to be considered rich? Around 100,000 plus. A month? Yeah. 100, okay, so if you're earning 100,000... 
hundred thousand that is eighteen thousand Swedish crowns, right? Yeah, I put out a zero, so eighteen thousand Swedish crowns. Thousand pesos a month. Here in the Philippines pesos. you're considered rich. Yeah, I think so. Now you could say, well, that's the same thing, just a smaller scale. But let me tell you why it's not. Filipinas don't expect to eat organic food mm. and grass-finished beef, whatever that is. All we want is not to starve. We have realistic expectations. We don't live in some la la land where every whim is catered to. Well, if you women deserve so much, you must have had a tough life, right? Men or women, who has a harder life? Women. Women have a harder life? Yeah. Women. Yeah. Women. <laughs> Why? Because we have to dealt with inequality for a long time and currently do so as well. What do men have that women don't? Basic human rights. Which right do? For instance, um, and you guys have free, <laughs> I'm not going to say what it is, but we don't have like the same access, for instance, to birth control. Like, our Men have access to birth control? No, 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 Viagra. For instance, it, your plan, your medical plan covers that, and my medical plan doesn't cover birth control. Oh, you poor things. Mm -hmm. You lack basic human rights? And it's not fair, because unlike you, those nasty men have access to birth control, like mm -hmm. Viagra. Never have I seen such True. injustice. How can you bear to live in such an awful place? Who has easier lives, guys or girls? I feel like boys have it easier. Like in the world, they have it so oh. much easier. Really? Mm. Yeah. Why? They pay better. Do they? Like, True. Yes. Give me an example. Like they get like the wage gap. Is the wage yeah. gap real? Yes. True. They have like more like athletic abilities. That's not fair. Think about how much NBA players get paid compared to WNBA players. Oh you my god, why? guys. Oh shit. I just realized. I just realized I'm a feminist, guys. I'm a feminist. I, I'm sorry for everything that I've said. This woman just made me realize that I'm a feminist because it doesn't have to do with like the fact that no women watch women's basketball. It has to do with that men hate women so much. We, we hate them so much. Even though we fund their league, we hate them so much. Even though the league is not making any money, we hate them so much. That we actually are preventing them from making money, preventing them from promoting their league and getting women to actually watch their league. Because like people are nicer to men than yeah. women. True. So True. that's what it is. People just don't like women mm. and that's why they don't pay them anything. 100%. How could I have been so wrong? Mm. I always thought it was because women's sports didn't have the same viewership and it didn't generate the same mm. revenue. But now I know it's just some fiendish plot. Yeah, it's fake news. The patriarchy to make women unlikable, mm. which is obviously working. So it is men's fault after all. Yeah. Do men or women have easier lives? Men. Women just do so much for this world. Mm. That's actually crazy. Men? What do men do? Nothing. Men are trash. I have absolutely no shame at all in admitting that I don't want to work hard to get the things I want. It's actually the opposite. I want to do the absolute bare minimum and just have money falling out. This must be the laziest girl man that I've ever seen in my life. Out of the sky and growing off the trees for me. I love it. Just do the bare minimum and wait for the money to fall out of the tree. I've been so stupid. I don't want a job. I don't even want a job. Oh, MG. Oh, please, somebody. I don't want a job. I don't want to work. Just give me the money. That's it. Don't just do as little as possible. Don't do anything at all and someone will just give me the money. I think I have seen the light. Okay, let me just put this all together. Dress like I'm almost naked and instead of working, get a six foot five guy making 250K. Then once I get married, just run down to the courthouse and get a divorce. I deserve it because women have much harder lives. Men get to have muscles and free yeah, Viagra, so. while we barely get paid because people are so much nicer to men. Mm -hmm. I finally get it. I've been a brainwashed prisoner of the mm -hmm. patriarchy. True. But what about those women with the high-paying jobs? They don't even need men for anything. 
Men don't need women. Women need men. Men could survive without women. If all the women disappeared tomorrow, men would be fine outside of reproduction. Women need men. If tomorrow they made artificial wombs, what would they need a woman for? Who's a better companion, men or women? Men can be alone. Women can't. Women are social beings. We need attention, and men, men don't. Huh? I thought we don't need men because they never do anything except run around looking for their mommies. Hmm, I wonder if us women haven't missed something. Maybe something obvious that even a child could see. Some bad news to these feminists. I am so sorry to break this to you, but we absolutely need men. And not just for the sake of our population not dying out forever and the world coming to an end, but men are imperative in the most important fields in the world. Men make up 85% of the military. That house or building you're currently sitting in, Guess what? Almost 99% of construction jobs are man-made. Firemen, 92% men. Pilots, 90... False news. 91% men. 82% of farming jobs proudly occupied by men. Uh, landscapers, well over 99% men. 99% of carpenters are men. Inventors, fishermen, policemen. Mm. Also, all male-dominated professions. So, guys, let's just cut the BS. Even if you hate men or embody the most extreme forms of feminism, there is no way you can say that we do not need men. Well, maybe we need them to do that kind of stuff, the crap we don't want to do or don't know how to do, but at least we don't need them in our lives. That'd just be gross. Do we need men in our homes? You tell me. This isn't an attack on single mothers. These are just facts. 81% of teen pregnancies come from fatherless homes. 71% of the male population in prison fatherless homes. 41% of children coming from fatherless homes will be poorer than their biological fathers. When a woman lacks praise, protection, and esteem coming from a father, she could end up in porn or hypersexualized mm. because there's always that void of validation missing. And she's more willing to do things in regards to sex. The effects can be detrimental. So you tell me. Yeah, okay, I guess men are good for something after all. I think I'll just be an old fuddy-duddy. And if we can't afford grass-finished beef, I think I'll survive. I'd rather choose a guy based on compatibility than a dollar amount. And I won't pull out a ruler to measure your height. Women shouldn't focus on competing with men. We should be completing them as they do us. There's just no way to have a healthy society without it. Well, that's it for this episode. And I hope you get a few laughs in between pulling your hair out. She knows what she's talking about. But anyway, guys, leave it in the comment section. Leave a like, uh, leave a comment, and subscribe to the YouTube channel. And I'll see you in the next video. Peace.